Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change a prefix from the dashboard since it was requested by one of our subscribers and Discord server. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Here we are, and uh, we might apply some CSS in the next video, so the next video will not be changing anything like as functionality, but the next video will be changing how the website looks. I'm not the best at HTML and CSS, so don't judge me. Um, let's start off now by going into our index. We've added three lines exactly, this one. All right you do not have to do mpmi body parser no just put it like that okay you don't need to install anything for it um, it's just to pause the body of a post as example post request or something like that so yeah here we want to use it so app dot use and we're going to put the variable in the other hand here, we want to handle if we have a post request, so yeah, as you can see here, the explanation, we will have another function, you know, uh, in the public here, uh, I don't want to show all of that right now, we have here run, alright, we might have like run2, so if there is any post request, we can handle it using run2, so we're gonna add this line, checking if there is run2, if yes, run it. Okay, so now we've created a get user goal 2.egs and we've made a couple of changes in the guild.js. Okay, so first of all, here uh, you can see that uh, we've actually changed everything like in the last one we only had permissions we made it show the permissions um but yeah this time we don't want to show permissions i can remove this line i don't think we will use it today um so yeah first of all we're checking if the person has uh permissions to see this page if not get him redirect back to the get user goals page now, if you know, uh, if you've watched the per server prefix video using the Discord.js, uh, I've said that we're gonna uh, cache the prefix so we don't send a request to Mongo each time uh, on a message, okay? So we're, we're gonna be caching the prefix. So here is uh, how I get it if uh, there is no the client or prefix, the cache basically just an empty array. Uh, and now if there is no, if the, if the guild is not in the array, just get the prefix from the database, okay? So, uh, yeah, in the end, if there is no prefix, we're gonna make the prefix our default prefix, which is equal, okay? But, oops, okay, never mind that. Uh, but right now, the prefix is actually p exclamation mark as i was testing i thought to change it back to equal so uh yeah now uh guild dot prefix is gonna be equal to the prefix in other words and what we're gonna do is just render our guild to dot egs which is here okay here is a look so if you don't uh, if you're not on the server and you want to see how the code looks like here it is so you can copy it uh and now we're basically just saying uh, you're viewing x gold okay uh and um if updated prefix okay is true we want to show a message in a green style okay in, in like a green color and saying you have updated your prefix too and the new prefix if there is an error 
we're gonna say uh, prefix can't be greater than five characters as you know I also said I don't want prefix to be too long and I said I just want to put a limit at five characters okay so uh, yeah in the dashboard is not gonna actually change it's gonna stay the five characters limit now we're gonna make a HTML form which is pretty easy as you can see just a form tag okay anyways the action will be going to the get gold the get user pre uh, golds slash the gold id basically okay and it will be a post that's why it's gone now run uh like the run to okay like this one the run to now this one will, will run because we have a post request okay we're gonna have the form here having a label uh enter a prefix and the input is basically here it's just very easy the value the default value of the input is gonna be the gold prefix already okay uh, but what we can do is uh, make it a placeholder actually and um, yeah we're gonna just put another input which is gonna be a submit button and yeah let's go back into the gold.js the gold.js yeah to take a look at run2 now Right, here's what we were using the pause body to get this one. So we're checking if there is a prefix in it. So uh, if not, we want to redirect back to the uh, get user goals. Okay, and um, we know there is a this is a custom function we've just we've just made here. Let's take a look at it. We gotta clear the cache, we gotta check for the um, if the client if the ID actually exists, okay. Uh, we gotta check if uh, the person is logged in, if not, just go back. The usual thing we actually normally do, okay, and we just want to return the guild, the member and the data, the data of the uh, the dashboard data, okay like the person's data in the dashboard so uh, yeah here we're checking if uh, there is a pre like we're checking the current uh, the current uh, prefix okay and checking if it's longer than five if it's not okay here if it's not we go return with uh, the data the normal data um, Sorry, I mean if it is longer than five, okay, we want to return the um, the error as you can see here. Error true, updated false, okay. And why is that? Okay, better now. Um, now, else we don't have to do else actually. It's gonna just run the code normally now. We want to uh, update the schema, okay. So. Uh, we made it on, onto three different lines so we can understand which one do what okay this one is a filter to get the gold like you know uh to, to get only that gold data okay let's remove this now and now the second one is to put the new value of the prefix okay here we go the new value and here, last thing is to check if there is no schema, we want to create one, okay? So, it's as easy as that. Let me actually remove the mocks here. Okay. And now we're going to do the guild.prefix is going to be equal now to the guild.prefix. Uh, like, the guild.prefix and it gets the... G the gold data from the cache, okay, and that is going to is also equal to the, uh, the pref like the prefix in the body, okay, the, bo the body request, the request body. Uh, so yeah, now every everything is going fine. So we're gonna make the error to false, which means there is no errors, and the success, which is updated prefix, is gonna be true, and we are gonna finally render the page, okay. Now let's do no dot. Okay, let me actually go all the way here. 
okay the normal page login uh, so I, I, I was just logged in less than 24 hours ago that's why it didn't ask me to do a discord login anyways I will view servers okay so I only have those two you, you might okay again notifications sorry for that uh, we might you might see that my main server isn't here because the test bot is not in my main server that's why it's here anyways we got click here and this is the prefix okay the current prefix I guess yeah I didn't actually change it to that I guess I put it back into equal so let me just make sure yeah it's only using equal now uh, and now let me try to type something too long like this one submit as you can see prefix can be greater than five characters in fact if I did uh, p exclamation mark submit you have updated your prefix to p exclamation and as you can see here the placeholder is p exclamation if I did equal ping it doesn't work and then if I did uh, p exclamation and did ping there the bot replied with pong and yeah that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and to subscribe and to leave a comment down below what you want the next video to be that's it and ciao